uh, no, no overt power. But the power of being there, and having been there for a long time now, uh, her right uh, of, of to be consulted um, and to, 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 um, to advise, because she has a weekly, usually a weekly meeting with the Prime Minister. And um, at, that, at that point, she can say, I'm worried about this, or I don't like the way this is going. The Prime Minister doesn't have to take any notice of that at all. But it's, it's just the, the, the authority of, 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 of being there and, and, and being in that position. She has a few formal powers left, which are some powers of appointment. But um, broadly speaking, she's a symbol. If things, all her powers, in other words, are, um, are, are outsourced, but if things go very, very badly wrong at any point, the theoretic possibility is they could be insourced again. Now, in Britain, of course, that's almost inconceivable. It hasn't happened for you know, a couple of hundred years, virtually. Um, but it's, it's possible that they could be insourced again, and the, and, and the Queen's prerogative could be invoked by the monarch personally um, if, if, if some terrible calamity uh, had occurred to the political system. I think that's as, as accurately as I can describe it.